Well, God gave every person with a unique talent, and it's important for them to nurture it. This is a great opportunity for me to talk about my talent, a public speaking skill. As you guys already know, public speaking skill is an important skill to have in the future, which include your confidentness. So, if you don't have confidence, then you may have its advantage in the future. You'll be very shy, timid when talking in public, and if you have public speaking skill, it's very easy to you to get a job, and it's easy for you to hire. So, if you don't have public speaking skill, then you know the disadvantage. You'll be very timid, just talking to a stranger like your boss, and that is disadvantage. Like I remember when I was in fourth grade, that's the time when my mom she decided to sign me in a lot of English competition. It is about some kind of colorings. I have to stand up in some kind of small crowd or sometimes large crowd, and do the talk in any topic that I picked on a piece of paper. And I have to think fast when I do that, which is a lot of hard work. And I practice and practice every day. I think I'm quite confident, but I still think I'm not enough. I have to practice some more. And I like I have a few tips I want to share about my practice for being more confident when talking in public. For example, first, when you're quite shy, you can just talk by yourselves in front of the mirror. Or if you don't have a mirror, you can just set up a camera like this and talk inside. You know this very helps because while you're talking, you can see your mouth, how it's shaping, and you can like can take control of it more, and you can be a better version of yourself. And the second, you can take you like for example, if you're still shy with large crowd, you can start talking with your sister maybe or with your parents. So that you can be more confident when talking in public. That's all I want to share. Just very few steps so that you can be more confident. And now I'm a lot more confident because I once remembered. Once I practice all this and I'm ready for my Olympic English, like English Olympics. It was a large crowd. The audience were very large. And as I, I didn't want, like I don't want to disappoint my audience. I have to be very, very confident. Remember, if you're shy, just think in your head. There's nobody here, just yourself on the stage. That's why I'll be very confident when talking with a large crowd. You know, I'm still a bit shy. When I'm shy, I will always think that there's no one here, just yourselves, and I'll be very confident afterwards. So I think that public speaking skill is really, really needed in the future. So if you're still shy and want to talk about it, start. Practicing today by my steps. I hope you'll be better at it, and I think I will keep practicing every day. Like this one, I'm practicing. I choose a topic and I practice about it like that. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.